guys, I found a way to turn back on the lights, gladly. The light, the power is back on. When I went upstairs to do that, that video when I, um, when I was dancing with BTS, that was the upstairs. The blinds were open in my room, but the power wasn't on. So, um, yeah, the power wasn't on, so we couldn't, I couldn't turn on the, before I even started that video where I said I was in the darkness of my basement and I could, and the lights were flickering on, before I did that video, I tried to turn on that light and it wouldn't come on. So that's why I did a video with, about it because I wanted to, because I wanted to see, will people's power, will people power, will power in people's house do go out at some point? But I remember last time when I was trying to play Roblox, then the power went out and I couldn't turn on and we all couldn't turn on our TVs or lights. Not even, and I tried to turn on this, per, and I tried to turn on the projector and it wouldn't even work. I lick, like, I literally pressed the button. Hold on, I'm about to show you guys. Look, all right, so this button, this button right here, no, not this one. This button right here, I pressed it, and now look at this. Do you guys see what just happened? When the power is out, when the power was out, that did not even happen. That did not happen. Let me turn this off. And yes, that did not happen. That did not happen when I tried to turn it on when the lights were when the lights were um coming on. Yeah, because the power was out. So the things didn't have but um it's because my dad pays the bills all the time. My dad does pay the bills all the time. So I don't know how our power went out the last time when I was trying to play Roblox. Because my dad pays the bills every time. So the power doesn't go out. That's literally what my dad does all the time. But gladly I have found a way to turn back on the lights. And in the video that I was talking about with when I um started my video like right here, that um this was the door that I was talking about. Like this door right here, that door and the door right next to this desk right here, that door and that door is the scariest part of the basement. That's literally the scariest part because like, every time I go in that bathroom that's next to that desk right there that I do my schoolwork in, every time I go in that bathroom, then it makes me scared because there's, like, because there's, like, a cut in the wall and there's bricks all over the ground in the wall. And then, um, and then it's like somebody could, and then it's like somebody, and then it's like somebody could go through this door right here and go all the way to where we can go all the way to where they can go into the bathroom. And because this door and this door is connected. Because it's like a storage door and a bathroom door connected to each other. Yeah, and I'm not going I'm not going in that bathroom with my tablet. Yeah, no, I'm not showing you guys cuz it's it's going to scare you guys. So yeah, I'm not sco If you guys want to be scared, that's that's fine. Just watch a scary movie that makes you scared cuz I'm not going in that bathroom. I'm scared in there. I'm scared in there. Cuz someone can actually go through that storage door 
and walk around and go into the bathroom door where they can just like kidnap me. But yeah, that's not gonna happen because there are real people in life that are mean. But nobody can like get into the house secretly. Nobody can get into the house secretly and just and then just go down nobody can just go through the back door secretly and we don't hear it. And they can just walk down the stairs, go into that storage door and walk around and go to the bathroom door where where they can just kidnap me. First of all, if they kidnap me, I'm gonna be screaming for help by my parents. But my dad is probably the only one that can hear me because he's like right in his office, right there. Th Look, this door right here is the entrance to my dad's office. You see this? You see this? Um, this black knob, right? Yeah, that's the. That's where you turn it, and then you can like just go into the office. My dad is literally in there right now. And like, and like, probably like three days ago, I did a TikTok of Chadwick Boseman's death, which I probably didn't have to bring up. But yeah, I did. I did a TikTok of his death, and I put it up. And I put up little like little like emojis. Not emojis. I put up like um stickers of people crying because of his death. Because he was forty he was the age forty three when he died. My dad just came out of his office. He scared me because I was like, what the He probably didn't know what I was talking about. But yeah, I did a video of Chadwick Boseman's death because I did a video of that. I did a on my TikTok of that because imagine how sad it would be if he died in front of you. Like you would start cry like you would literally start crying. Because he's like a really He's um a superstar. Like he played in the Black Panther. He's like a really good actor that died that died on September 30 something. I don't remember, but he was age but he was the age 43 when he died. He was younger than my dad when he died. My dad is like 51 years old. Um but yeah, he was older then um he was older than Michael B. Jordan when he died. Because his name is Chadwick Bozeman. He was older than Michael B. Jordan when he died. Because Michael B. Jordan is like thirty three years old. But yeah, that is really sad that he died because I don't I don't even know why I brought this up because I don't want to make you guys sad. And I don't mean to bring this up but Michael Jackson, he died before, he died before, he died, he died at the age of 50. So Chadwick died at the age of 43. Michael was older than Chadwick Boseman when he, Michael was older than Chadwick when um, Michael died. That's like... <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but I just, this is supposed to be about lights. This is not supposed to be about um people's death, but I think I'm going to end the video right here because I don't know, I don't know why I'm bringing up dead people's stuff and Kobe Bryant. Oh my, okay, whatever, I'm ending the video right here, bye. Make sure to subscribe.